happy Thursday. It is that time. It is about 1230. It is afternoon. It is time for some Simply Fun Cocktails. So welcome. Thanks for joining me again this week. Um, I would love to hear if any of you guys tried your French 75s after last week and what you thought of them. Um, but today we are going to be making an apple cider bourbon cocktail. And so Jason, this one's for you. I know he wanted to try this one out and he needed somebody to, uh, to be the guinea pig. So I'm here for you. So uh, thank you guys, everybody who's reached out in the last week with suggestions of recipes and all sorts of things. I love it. I love having some ideas to work with. So keep them coming. Uh, so today we're making the apple cider bourbon cocktail. This is a great recipe from Pampered Chef that I'm super excited to try. So of course, we're using the cocktail shaker set again. Um, and we are going to start with, of course, we start with some ice in there, right? All right. So about a cup of ice and, oh, bring all the ingredients over, Rachel. Get yourself together. Here we go. All right. So remember, we've got our, our portions. So we've got one part sweet, one part sour, um, and then two parts liquor. Now for this cocktail, it's a little bit different. All right. We are gonna have our one part sweet. Uh, and last week I told you guys how to make your own simple syrup, right? And I told you it was really easy um, and it's just sugar and water and you heat it up on the stove till the sugar is dissolved and then you can store it for about six months. Now this week, this is a simple syrup as well, again, homemade, um, but instead of using white sugar, we used brown sugar and that's gonna give us a little bit different flavor profile that's gonna go really well with this cocktail. There's also a little bit of cinnamon in there um, just to give it that nice fall cinnamon flavor as well. So we're gonna use some of this. All right, we've got our ice in our large shaker, okay? And we're gonna do one ounce of our brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Remember our markings are right inside. So one ounce of our simple syrup, pour that over our ice, okay? And for this drink, Instead of a um, sour, we're actually gonna use half and half. This is a, like a creamier based drink. So we've got half and half here, one ounce of our half and half. Now pour that over our ice. And then two parts of our liquor. So today we are using a bourbon. So we've got, thank you Alex, for having all sorts of fun things to choose from down in the bar. We've got a nice Wisconsin made bourbon here. And so two parts of that. Remember the best part here is that our jigger, the two ounce line is not all the way at the top, which means I'm not gonna spill everywhere when I measure it out. All right, now the last part to this recipe is some apple cider. And we need four ounces of that. So last week, of course, we added some champagne, remember, to our drink, and that we poured in right at the end. But for this one, we're actually gonna mix the apple cider in with everything else. So we're just gonna take the apple cider and we need four ounces. Now, the small shaker cup has measurements for two and four ounces. So this is really, really easy. We'll just measure four ounces in here. All right, and put it all together. And now, remember we just put the top on and we're gonna shake until it's cold and it gets cold real fast, and you're gonna feel it because it's stainless steel. All right, remember just gonna hit the cup to release it. Man, I got it stuck on there real tight today. There we go. All right, now we take a glass, and we're gonna take a little bit of caramel sauce. And you wanna put a little bit of caramel sauce in the bottom. I like to kind of swirl the gl glass around a little bit so you get some on the sides. Get a little bit in the bottom there. All right, so we've got some, bring it over so you guys can see, just some caramel going down the glass here, okay? And then, of course, we want some ice in our glass to keep our drink cold. And then we're gonna go ahead and strain our drink in. Now, I don't think I told you guys last week that this little strainer is fantastic. It fits perfectly, like snaps in almost into our cup so that it really strains well and we don't get any ice chunks. So if you just put the, uh, the strainer in there, you can actually put your finger in here and kind of slide it down and kind of push it down and it just really works quite well. All right, so here we go. Ooh, that looks yummy. Perfect. 
Now you can garnish this with all sorts of things. We can, of course, take our caramel. We can drizzle a little bit more on top. Um, you could garnish it with a cinnamon stick if you want. Uh, we could even put like a sprinkle of cinnamon on top if we wanted. Um, or an apple, you can take an apple slice and you can garnish it. Now Pampered Chef did something really cool. I'll show you how they did their apple garnish. Is they actually took the apple and they kind of, you know, cut off a chunk here and then spun it around, cut off a chunk here and see how you can see the core a little bit. And then just kind of like cut a little groove in the bottom to take out the bottom part of that core. But then you can kind of put the apple on the edge like this. Right? Like how cute is that? And of course, if you haven't seen, Pampered Chef now has metal straws, which are really cool. They're really great for the environment. They're really fun. They're dishwasher safe. They come with a little cleaning brush. So then you can have a nice stainless steel straw for enjoying your drink. Okay, that's delicious. That's really good. It's got like some nice sweetness to it from the simple syrup. Um, and it's got that nice apple flavor from the cider. But it's got a real good kick from the bourbon. And I think this is going to be a really great fall beverage, especially on a chilly day. Uh, oh, you know what else you could do with this, guys? I think um, some homemade whipped cream on top would be really, really good. Like you could even put a splash of bourbon in the whipped cream to like just give it that little bit of flavor. Um, you could put a little bit of cinnamon in the whipped cream. Oh, that'd be so good. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of cinnamon in the whipped cream and put some fresh whipped cream on top of here and then drizzle a caramel over. I think that would be excellent. All right, so there you go. Apple cider bourbon cocktails all ready for your weekend. When you try it, let me know what you think. I'm going to go and enjoy this one right now. Thank you guys for joining me. We'll see you next week, next Thursday, for Simply Fun Cocktails. Have a great weekend.